Hi, this is Jessie at the Helena College Library. I'm going to show you how to cite a web page or a short work from a website in the updated MLA style. When you include outside information in a paper or project, you must cite where the information is found in two places. The first is the in-text citation, which is a brief note to the reader that you are using outside information. For a website, you generally only need one thing, the author's last name. MLA only requires page numbers for documents that have stable page numbers, like a book, article, or PDF. Printouts from a website vary from one computer to another, so there are no stable page numbers for websites. In short, if you cannot find stable page numbers, do not include any. Here is a direct quote from a website. The citation appears in parentheses at the end of the sentence, after the closing quotation marks, and before the period. When there are two authors, include the last names for both, with an and between. Look carefully near the top or bottom of the content for any indication of who wrote the page. If you cannot find the name of an individual, also look for the name of an organization taking credit for the content. Each of your sources will also be included in your list of works cited at the end of your paper. This list provides the full citation for each source with enough information for a reader to find it. You will usually find the information you need at the beginning or end of the web page or document, though it may take some careful searching to find. Let's look at the basic citation for a short work from a website. And of course, pay careful attention to all punctuation, spacing, and formatting that you see in the example citations and use them in yours. The authors are listed first. For the first author, enter the last name followed by their first name and then middle name or initials if you know them. Enter the second author after the first in normal order, as in first, middle, last. If you cannot find the name of an individual, also look for the name of an organization taking credit for the page. This would be the same as you use in your in-text citation. Place a period at the end of the author's names. The title of the short work, the article or page you are reading, is written in quotation marks in title style capitalization. A period goes at the end of the title inside the ending quotation mark. Next is the name of the website on which the short work is found. Find this at the top or bottom of the page. The URL or web address can also give you clues about the name of the website. This is sometimes the same as the author. The name of the website is typed in italics, title style capitalization, and ends with a comma. The sponsor of the website is listed next. This is often the same as the title of the website or the organizational author. If it is the same, do not include it in your citation. But look carefully at the copyright statement on the bottom of the website to see if another company or organization owns the website. The URL can sometimes provide a clue as well, and the name of the sponsor is followed by a comma. Next is the date followed by a period. Look carefully at the top and bottom of the article for the date the information was published, edited, or updated. Type the date, month, and year. When no date can be found, type N period D period in lowercase letters and end it with a comma. You may be asked to include the URL or web address for the site. This is optional, but can help the reader to find your source. Copy it from the address bar, but do not include the HTTP or HTTPS part. End it with a period. Finally, you may enter the date you access the website. This is optional and again written as date, abbreviated month, and year with a period at the end. So here is our complete citation. Again, the author is the same in the in-text citation and the full citation, as this will help your reader identify your sources. Your citations may look a little different depending on the web page or document that you cite. Refer to a pocket style manual or the Purdue OWL website for more guidelines and examples, and you can always contact the Helena College Library with questions.